All right, sister is a cunt. Jesus. All right, hey there, gingerhead man. Oh, I get it. A little play on words there. Oh, Jesus. Uh, I'm a 20-year-old guy who desperately needs advice from from their favorite comedian. From his favorite comedian. So I'll get to the point. My sister is a cunt. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This guy's not pulling any punches here. To give you a small sample of her, I'll elaborate a bit. All right. So you, in a small sample, you're going to elaborate? Well, this guy's just fucking, he, he, he's, he's yinging and yagging. He's zigging and zagging. Uh, she's a narcissist. Ying and yang, it was bad. She's a narcissist to her very core and is straight up stupid. She sounds like she's hot. Uh, she is abusive to my dad. Oh, she's definitely good looking. Even though he has cut his room in half to accommodate her moving into his small apartment. She hurls insults at him. And when she doesn't get her way and talks shit under her breath, um... She hurls insults at him when she doesn't get her way and talks shit under her breath so he can't hear it. But I can, and it's fucking infuriating. My dad is a really, is, really is a good man who has worked as a teacher for nearly 30 years, and I respect the hell out of him. It kills me to see her treat him like yesterday's dog shit. Also, she's a massive whore. Jesus, buddy. This is your sister? Since I almost know... I I almost know that she sucks dick for weed. All right, dude, this is getting sad here. Truly, she is one of the most ugly and insensitive people that could ever exist. In addition to that, she loves to talk about how good she looks. She's lost a lot of weight, and while I was supportive at first, she rapidly became, began to make fun of me and made me feel bad about my body to prop herself up. Dude, this is like a reality show. This is sad on so many different levels. Uh, fun fact, she starved herself, became a bulimic, took weight loss pills, and never worked out. So what the fuck gives that bitch the right to say anything to anyone about how they look? All right, dude, you got a lot of anger towards your sister. You've established this. Now I need your help. With your unique attitude of take no shit. Uh, dude, I take plenty of shit. How do you handle... It's easy to not take any shit with, with a... A fucking individual on a podcast not talking to anybody. How do you handle someone like that? I'm sure you've met hundreds like her. What can you say? What can you do to rein in this psycho bitch? She abuses my dad. She treats my little brother and I like total shit. And she doesn't do anything to keep the place clean. So that usually falls on my dad and I. All she does is use people. And when they aren't useful anymore, she discards them like trash. She's truly someone I've grown to despise and resent. I try and keep her out of my mind as much as possible to keep my own sanity. Uh, I would have disowned her, but since she lives with me, it it's, makes it difficult. I feel bad for my dad because he has to watch my sister and I argue. I always have my dad's back and yell at her when she says some of her usual crap that doesn't really do it anymore. <clears throat> but that doesn't really do it anymore. I'm not someone who has problems with a lot of people. Most of the people I've met who know her have told me similar horror stories. If you can't think of anything to suggest, I'd gladly accept it if you just bash her on the podcast. It won't solve anything, but it will give me something to smile about when I see that dumb bitch come hopping into the living room acting like her shit doesn't stink. Thanks for hearing me out, Bill. All the best to you, Nia and Cleo. All right. Um, <clears throat> well, you are living in some cramped quarters, so that's definitely going to make you guys not like each other. Um, it doesn't seem like your dad calls her out on her behavior. So um, I would say... I would start working on my own life, which is I would make enough money to move out. And I w if she's truly as horrible as you're saying, I would uh, try to just see her on Thanksgiving and Christmas. <clears throat> and, um, you know, that stuff about her being bulimic and starving herself and taking weight loss pills um, is definitely probably should be addressed at some point mm -hmm. understatement oh look who's back look who's back oh cutie pie <clears throat> um i'm kind of glad you didn't see all this this guy just said a bunch of horrible stuff about his sister i she thought that she's a whore 
Well, and she also seems like a, a complete sociopath that she just kind of uses people and when she can't. She's got a lot of shit going on, it sounds like. But this is also it just... Sounds like a mess. But it's also, also if, she, if she has an eating disorder, that's a whole... That's a, that's a, yeah, that's maybe, a, it's like a mental illness. Maybe she's just dizzy. <laughs> <laughs> no. <clears throat> Sorry, my fucking... No, someone with eating disorder, that's, um, that's hardcore. Because, like, if you, if it's, like, really... I knew a girl who was true. bulimic, but she was a really nice person. She wasn't walking around treating people like shit. So I think well, if this I girl mean, had not a... not everybody, not everyone's going to, like, go about it the same. That's what I'm saying. So maybe if she has, like, a full belly, she'd still be a cunt. That is very true. Or she, yeah, or she's, like... I'm a fucking just a mess. This is kind of like when people have addicts or whatever as siblings and they feel like everyone is sort of like tiptoeing around them and they're like, this person is a fucking jerk and an asshole. Why are we, you know, and I'm doing all the right things. Like, I don't understand why they're being tiptoed around and that's, it's not fair. Yeah. I think all three of them, her, her little brother and her dad should, uh, say like, listen, if you don't stop acting the way you're acting, you got to move out. Mm-hmm. That's basically it. And then when she, you know, stomps around like some fucking, you know, Clydesdale. I wonder uh, if they ever had any, like, good times together, other than when they were, like, six or something. Like, had they ever, like, gone out to eat and, and been like, I have no what's, idea. What's going on with you? Like, why are you so angry all the time? Or is, like, her behavior so bad that you don't even want to be in the same room with her? But I heard what you said, that he should move out. That's... Basically, the best solution, I think, is just... Get I think she's watching too many of those fucking shows where, you know, she thinks she's got to have some fucking certain kind of shoes and that type of shit. Her dad's a teacher. They're living in this small-ass apartment. And uh, I think she wants the finer things in life, and she's going to get it however she needs to get it. So right now, she's like, all right, I'm going to get all skinny. I'm going to fucking bang my way to some weed and a nice car and... I think you got a full-on sociopath on your hands. That's what I think. And uh, I think you guys need to gang up against her, tell her to fucking get her shit together, that she has to move out. And if your dad is can't get past the fact that that's the apple of her eye and he doesn't want to do anything, then you got to choose yourself, and I would move the fuck out. <clears throat> that's it. All right. Awful laugh. Oh, my God, Neil. We... Why are you saying that she's a sociopath? I'm just curious. Um, because she treats her dads like shit. She fucking, uh, uses people. Um, this is his description. Oh. She uses people and when she can't get anything from them, she completely discards them, which means she has no use for them. Like, oh, right, they're right. Like a, they're like a light bulb that, that burned out. All right. I understand what discard means. Oh. <laughs> sorry. I just had to. I'm sorry. Ah, Jesus. All right. You know what? I deserve it.